بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. Uh, sh- explaining uh, Ramadan for non-Muslims. Sometimes our non-Muslim family would like to know or would like from us to share with them some little information about fasting in the month of Ramadan. Before making this explanation, I just uh, wanna uh, note something I think very important here. We have to differentiate between Ramadan and fasting. Ramadan is a month in which we fast 29 or 30 days. Ramadan is a month and we fast in this month. It's one of the month in Islamic calendar. So it is very, very important for us to note that. What we do is not Ramadan, what we do is fasting, but we fast in the month of Ramadan. And someone will ask, what does the fasting mean? Fasting actually means uh, a total uh, abstention from eating, drinking, having sexual intercourse from dawn till dusk. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prescribed for believers to fast in Quran when He says, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu kutiba alaykum as-siyamu kama kutiba ala ladheena min qablikum la'allakum tattaqoon O oh, you who believe, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prescribed or made fasting or prescribed upon you fasting in the month of Ramadan as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prescribed upon those who came before you so that you will acquire God consciousness or righteousness. And uh, this is the verse that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in which fasting in the month of Ramadan was made obligatory. Ob- Ligatory upon Muslim and someone could ask okay uh, now we know that so who supposed to fast uh, during the month of Ramadan uh, fasting as I mentioned is uh, obligatory upon any Muslim adult and healthy so if you're adult and you are healthy you have to fast you have to fast and for the woman if, if it happens that a woman is uh, having her menstrual uh, bleeding or she having postnatal bleeding, it is not required for her to fast during the month of Ramadan. Um, Ramadan actually is a great month in which also we have a night that we call Laylatul Qadr. And Laylatul Qadr uh, means the night of power. And praying and worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this night is equivalent to worshipping Allah in 1,000 months as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in Surah Al-Qadr. Laylatul Qadr khayrun min al-fishar. The night of power or Laylatul Qadr is better than worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for a thousand months. And also Ramadan, uh, fasting uh, in the month of Ramadan is uh, a month of generosity where Muslims uh, share a little portion of food that they have or money or anything you know to a needy uh, less privileged and poor people is the month that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through his messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam urges us to become more generous to get food to feed people and when we do that also we can accumulate more reward but more importantly it is the month that we clean ourselves is some sort of self-cleansing. We clean ourselves spiritually, we clean ourselves physically. So Ramadan, it is one of the most important months and is one of the most important season for every single Muslim. And I believe, you know, our non-Muslim neighbors, our non-Muslim families also uh, will learn uh, a lot about why we fast 29 days or 30 days, you know, in Ramadan. This is briefly uh, a very short explanation about the uh, fasting in the month of Ramadan. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept our ibadah. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us strength and iman. Subscribe to Good Tidings Net now.